What's up people? This is Sora with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. Welcome to the part 6 of the series. If you have missed the previous parts, you can go back and watch them. In this video, we'll go through the basics of Unreal Motion Graphics User Interface Designer, or in short, UMG. We will do this by creating a health bar for the player character. So the results will look something like this. As you can see, we have our player, of course, and on the top uh, section of the screen on the left side, you can see a couple of bars there. The red bar represents player's health, and that's what you're going to create. So the goal is to create a bar on the screen which represents player's health and is reduced every time player takes a hit. My solution to this is to set up the player's health first, which requires us to create a couple of variables in the player to, to store his health or her health. Then we'll set up the health bar and we'll do this using the UMG to draw progress bar on the screen. And last but not least, we'll show the health bar on the screen. So let's get started. As I said, the first step is to create a couple of variables in the player to store his health. So open your player character. If you don't know how to do that, go back, back and watch the previous videos. I assume that you already know this. Create a new variable called health or call it player health and make it uh, a float type variable and then right click on this variable duplicate it and create um, another variable called player health max. So create an event begin play. Uh, node and uh, set the player health equal to max health in the beginning of the game. Basically, you're doing just that. You're just set, making sure that the player's health is at max in the beginning. So compile and we are good to go. Now as I mentioned, the next step is to set up the visual aspects of the health bar. Now, in order to do that, we'll use UMG. But what is UMG? It is a visual um, user interface authoring tool, basically, which we can use to create um, user interface elements like HUDs, menus, and things like that. At the core of the UMG are widgets which are a series of pre-made functions that can be used to construct your interface like progress bars, like buttons, like checkboxes and things like that. These widgets are edited in the special widget blueprint. So first we'll need to create the widget blueprint. So create a, go to your folder, whatever it is you created for your blueprints and inside it create a UMG folder. This is just for the sake of having an organized folders and create right click on the content browser under user interface, click on widget blueprint. Name it health or so open that. As you can see, this is a little different from the Blueprint classes we have been working with so far. So, and this is called the Widget Blueprint. And inside it, we have two tabs, basically. The Designer tab, which allows us for the to create the visual layout of our interface and some basic functionalities, set up them, set the functionalities, I mean. And then we have the Graph tab, which lets us script basically and you can see that this is more like what we've been working with so far 
so if we go back to the designer tab you can see that here there is a section called palette and under there there are widgets there are different categories of widgets which we'll use uh, to create our health bar by mixing and matching matching these widgets we can uh, design the layout of our user interface so first of all go ahead and write in the search box horizontal box to get a horizontal box and add it to this drag and drop it to the screen this box basically can have child widgets under it and um, is used when you want to have a couple different widgets in a horizontal fork together since I want to have both a health bar and a number representing health so I have two elements I choose to use these this horizontal box so then go ahead and write progress bar and you get something called the progress bar um, which is basically just that so drag and drop that inside the uh, horizontal box and finally we'll need a text widget to write text and get a text widget and drag and drop it there uh, you can see that there is a area called hierarchy you can manipulate the order of these widgets from here or from the screen so I want the text to be to the left side so just click that uh, select that and then click on these arrows to change their position last but not least, least I will need a spacer which is basically just gives you some space between different elements you have and put the spacer between the text box and the progress board now we'll need to adjust the sizes of these things we just added as you can see it doesn't look quite right so in order to do that just select the horizontal box from the hierarchy section and just drag it out as long as you want it to be um, adjusted then um, if you look at the details panel we'll see a section called slot horizontal box slot which has some variables or some options here which can be used to change the look of this so for the progress bar click on fill which basically tries to fill as much as space in the box as possible with this widget and for text box it's okay to have it auto which basically means that it automatically adjusts adjust size and for the spacer under appearance you see size so change the x to 10 or whatever you like to just get a good space between text and uh, bar so now that we're done with that it's time to get to scripting so what we want to do here is to bind the text and the progress bar to the player's health so first step is to go to the graph section and um, you can see here there is a note here call, called event construct which is basically your uh, begin event so first we'll need to drag uh, get access to the player because the health variable is built there and to do that we'll use casting which I believe I showed you in previous videos but anyways just write casting and the name of your character to get a node and from the object pin drag out a wire and write player character and from the as character pin drag, drag out the wire and promote that to variable and change its name to player so basically this variable lets you access the player and the variables and functions in it anytime this is a very useful method which gives you access to the player and you can use it um, in any blueprint so remember this 
method as it's very useful so now time to it's time to bind the bar and text to player's health variable and we'll use some, uh, something called binding uh, by binding a property to a function or property variable in your blueprint any time that function is called or that property is updated it will be reflect reflected in the widget so in order to do that go back to your designer tab select your progress bar and under the progress you will see something percent click on bind and create binding here just drag out your player variable you created and write get health and you get the variable created in the beginning to represent player's health and also get max health um, and we need this because this is a percentage so we need to divide them to get a percentage so divide them together and you have a nice value here which you can bind to this progress bar that's it and for the text box we basically do the same go under content and you see something selected first under content you see text and click on create binding and um, do the same thing you did before you get the health variable and connect it to this return node that's it now you think that our job is done but it is almost done but there's one more thing to be done that is the last step to show the health bar on the screen so in order to do that as i mentioned widgets must be added to the view port by another object they, they are not shown by themselves in the level in this case i'll use the player itself to do this so go to player and um, in front of your event begin play just write create widget and you get a nice node here uh, from the owing player pin get a, a player controller node and um, for the class choose health bar or whatever you created the widget that you widget blueprint that you created and connect it uh, to the uh, event begin play to the one so now we have created a um, widget but we need to add it to viewport so drag out a wire from that node and write add to viewport and then the target is the widget and that's it now we have created the health bar and as you can see it is added to the screen of course as i mentioned um, you can go and play around with the sizes of text and the spacer and things like that to make it as you like and as you can see it's zero because we didn't set up the values to anything so you could for example set the player max value to 100 and you can see that your health bar will be filled, filled now so yep that's it we did it as an exercise I encourage you to try to add a timer to the game using the widget blueprint method that I just showed you in this video. So this episode concludes our side scroller tutorial series. Thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe subscribe to the uh, to my channel to um, get if you like to get more videos like this. Also you're welcome to leave comments if you have any suggestions or questions for me. See you next time.